If Jason Blundell had one goal when writing the storyline behind Revelations, it was probably to fill in some of the loose ends that have been hanging around in the zombie storyline. And Revelations was the perfect vehicle because it combined many of the previous elements from previous maps. And this allows us to go back and visit previous lines in the story which haven't been touched for several years. This is exactly what's going on with the cast and crew of Call of the Dead. Thanks to many radios found in the Shangri-La portion of that map, we are now able to find out the fate of our Call of the Dead characters. Our first clue into what happened to them comes from this radio from Sarah Michelle Geller found within Shangri-La. It's been six weeks since and the rest of the Call of the Dead cast and crew went missing. Hollywood's lost its fucking mind with this story. An entire production vanishes? Crazy talk. I told you this is why you don't shoot in Siberia. So with agent on line one, manager on line two, I needed to sort this quickly. I'd rather zombies come for me than an agent. That's real horror. I don't need that. It's been a while, so for those of you that might not remember or just have not played Call of the Dead, Call of the Dead was the first ever Zombies map to feature an ensemble celebrity cast. We had Robert England, Dan Trejo, Michael Rooker, as well as Sarah Michelle Geller, who is the voice that you're hearing in this radio. Now, this lets us know that most of the cast and crew died. As we saw in the original cutscene, pretty much the final survivors were our four celebrities. They were the last ones, but turns out Robert England, Danny Trejo, and Michael Rooker all succumbed to the zombies, and Sarah Michelle Gellar is the last survivor. Somehow, she gets away. We don't know how she got away, we don't know if she was rescued, but pretty much everybody who was involved in the production of the film Call of the Dead has just vanished, and they've vanished because they've been zombified and murdered. So they're all gone, and Sarah Michelle Gellar is the last one to make it back to civilization. We know this because she has been speaking to people like her manager, and she also knows that Hollywood is going nuts on this story. That's the little indication that she was lucky enough to get away. Now what she does is start to dig into the research of George Romero. For those of you that remember, George Romero based his film Call of the Dead after what he discovered about Group 935. Years ago I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Element 115, necromancers, raising the dead, real creepy stuff. We're completely surrounded! Come on! The coolest thing? Some of that crazy shit happened right here. Now Sarah Michelle Gellar wants some answers as to what went on, why did this happen, and she starts to dig into George's research. I started going through his research, and good fucking lord, this is a confusing mess. So much shit about time travel, different dimensions, honestly, I'm not even sure what the getting into. You can make this stuff up. A mad German scientist, a high American, a drunk Soviet, and a warrior Japanese soldier. All working together? I find this radio to be the most confusing of all the radios. We know that George Romero found documents pertaining to Group 935 and their research. This documentation exists. The Americans got their hands on it, the Russians got their hands on it, they then used their technology to create their own technology and leaks happen, stuff floats around, you do your research and you can probably find stuff. We imagined that George Romero was aware of the, group, the work that Group 935 did, trying to control the zombies, creating things like teleporters and all of this other nonsense, but we didn't know that George Romero had documents pertaining to our four characters. Our four characters and their adventures are something that really shouldn't have ever been documented. By the time they had gone on their adventure and began it, well, then everything already fell apart. Group 935 no longer existed at this point. Dr. Max was dead. Many of the people on the moon had already been killed. Who was left to write all this information about our character for George Romero to later discover? Now, maybe she's referring to them as test subjects? That's a possibility. But if she is referring to our four characters going on their whirlwind adventure teleporting from place to place, 
this almost creates a bit of a plot hole, and hopefully you can see where this radio starts to get a little bit confusing. Either way, she's digging for answers as to why things happen, and she starts to learn about our four characters, but then something really crazy happens. So I started with a simple one, something about two guys named Brock and Gary looking for a conch book, but they finished like dead, in your head stayed there. Next thing I know, I'm in this jungle, and it's hot and humid, and the sky goes black, like dark black. I look up, there's an eclipse, and these things start chasing me, like zombies. Trust me, I know how it sounds. I've been fighting them so long now, I should be dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have died, but it just keeps going. As Sarah Michelle Gellar continues to do her research, she discovers Brock and Gary. For those of you that don't remember, Brock and Gary were the famous explorers who found Shangri-La. We helped them through the Shangri-La Easter egg. They were stuck in this infinite cycle, and every time they died, they would just start back up. This was one of the first ever examples of an infinite cycle within the zombie storyline. By completing the Easter egg, we actually helped them reach their final death. They didn't come up again in zombie storyline until Black Ops 3 when we had this cipher. When solved, it reads, Urgent Telegram. We've just received word that the private plane carrying the expedition crew encountered freak atmospheric events which caused it to crash, killing all on board, including the famous explorers Brock and Gary. This comes weeks after owner announcement fight about the location of Shangri-La. That was the last we heard about them, and Brock and Gary have now come up once again. She learns about them as she's doing her research, but then things get strange. Suddenly, she is teleported to Shangri-La herself, and when she's in Shangri-La, she's then attacked by the zombies, and she's stuck in an infinite cycle just like Brock and Gary. This seems to be a thing that happens to everybody who goes to Shangri-La. They find themselves stuck in this infinite cycle. She says she's died, or at least she thinks she has, but she keeps going, and that's what gives away that she is also stuck in an infinite cycle. And this ends up being the final fate of everybody within the Call of the Dead cast and crew. George Romero, Michael England, Danny Trejo, and um, Michael Rooker all end up dying. And then Sarah Michelle Gellar is the one who is lucky enough to escape, but unfortunately, Curiosity killed the cat, and somehow she found herself teleported over to Shangri-La. Once at Shangri-La, she got stuck in this infinite cycle, and no matter what she does, she's just going to keep on dying. And that explains why her radios are in the Shangri-La section of the map. They must have also been transported, or maybe what happened was she found herself in Shangri-La, and now she's telling the story of how she ended up getting here. That actually is probably the most likely explanation. That's going to wrap things up for this video. A lot of people for years have been wondering whatever became of the Call of the Dead crew, and we finally know. I'm going to go. Be sure to stay tuned for more coverage of the Revelation storyline. Have a great day, and bye.